Hello Aries, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for all your likes, shares and subscribes and welcome to the channel. Now this is a general reading, it might not resonate with you. I've got a playlist for November for Aries, if you want to look at that, there's messages there that you might get more out of. Milk and honey, there's a rainbow here. Number six is moving towards success. So a lot of blessings at the end of this rainbow. You're going towards blessings here, Aries. A win-win outcome is forecast, full moon in Libra. Beautiful balance scales, Libra and scales there. So you're in a, you're going to have a win-win situation. Things falling into place and going your way. Prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. Absolutely. So things are going to fall into place. Things are going in your favour here. You're going towards a lot of abundant energy and blessings here. Good outcomes are forecast for you as well. The Fool. The World Card, beautiful. The Five of Cups. The Seven of Wands. The overall energy here is the Seven of Wands. And this is the Four of Pentacles. The Ten of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune. And the High Priestess. Now what we've got here is we've got four, five and seven here. The overall energy here is about disappointment, somebody trying to get away with something, somebody being sneaky or underhanded. Okay, what Spirit's saying is, it's time to put an end to your burdens here. These are at an end. So you're learning something about a personal situation and environment here that's helping put an end to your burdens. So it might not feel as if uh, this is, they might not feel good about this. It might actually be causing you some upset here and some regret. But we're going to have to make a decision here and we're going to have to let go whatever it is that's holding us back. We're holding on to something too tightly here now. So we need to let that go. And when we let that go, we start to move forward. Our burdens will end. We'll move towards blessings and prosperity. Now, the seven of swords, like I say, could be somebody trying to get away with something, somebody underhand. You've learned something here. This could be you taking the knowledge you've gained and moving away from that type of situation, personal environment. Now, we don't want to be regretting the actions we're taking here. We, there's no point in crying over spilt milk here. We can't refill these cups. This is five and fives are change for me. So this is about change. It's about focusing on the blessings that are here and starting to go towards your happiness. Now, this is going to put an, an end to your challenges. So whatever's been going on here, this is all ending now. You're going to come away from that. We want to be focusing on the cups that we've got here, the blessings that are in the present, and we don't want to be we want to be letting go of the past here. Now, we're holding on to something too tightly. This could be in any area of your life that you're learning this. It could be within your finances, your work life, your relationships, your environments, anything that's tangible here. You've got to let something go. Now, it could be letting go of the past. It could be simple in, in that sense. I mean, it's not simple to do that. I'm saying it could be that the cards are saying, if you let go of the past, things will move forward. You're holding on to past regrets or past decisions. You're thinking about them too much. It could be holding on to situations where you've had a certain amount of security uh, and it's it's no longer there. We need to let it go. And your challenges are ending. Your burdens will end when you do this. Now, these are all karmic lessons we've been through here. So you've learned a lot here and you've survived the Aries. So you've got a lot of knowledge here. What Spirit's also saying here is because of what you've learned here and what's came to light here, you're in a great position to take on any challenges that may come along now. You can stand your ground. Right, you've got you've learned things here, you're going into a win-win situation, you're starting to see clearly this is mental energy, you've got all the information you need here to stand your ground, defend yourself, okay, and go towards better things. Because this was all designed here to bring you in a new life cycle. So it's about completing a one chapter in your life and beginning another. Life cycles, it's completion. So one phase of your uh, life is ending and a new one is beginning. And when you go through this portal, you're only going to go forward. There's going to be victory through doing this. So stand your ground. You've learned a lot. Like I said here, it's all lessons you've learned. You've gained a lot of knowledge. You've learned about yourself you, and what you need and what you don't need in life. So you you can only go forward. The challenges are ending. So there's only prosperity ahead now. It could be that you might have to as well. When we're going towards what it is that we want for ourselves here as well, 
Um, there's always challenges along life's path that uh, we take on. But they're saying you've got the upper hand and you're in a great position to take on any challenges that come along. Now, this is about taking a leap of faith and moving forward. What Spirit's saying here is that luck is on your side. Uh, uh, divine timings at play here. Things are falling into place. This was all meant to happen. It's time to leave behind these energies and go towards the new life cycle. Spirit is trying to move you forward. The Wheel of Fortune is moving in your favour. So don't be frightened to take this leap of faith towards this brand new beginning, this new chapter in your life. Now, the full card here, he travels from he travels lightly. He's, he's coming from ground zero. He's leaving behind all his burdens and his challenges. He's learned his lessons. Uh, he's using the knowledge he's gained here to go forward towards new beginnings. The blessings at the end of a rainbow here. So it's your time to take that leap of faith and go forward, to trust in yourself. Trust in your intuition here. Now, this is about anything. Your intuition is not about talking. It's about feeling, sensing, and observing what's going on round about you. And your intuition never lets you down. So what Spirit's saying here is that you listen to your intuition. If you've got any um, suspicions of somebody, that's try your intuition will be correct. So it might be that you might have to defend yourself in that situation as well. So you might have a certain amount of information that you've learned or gained here, and it's putting you in a great position to go forward. So, you know, you're in a great position here to take on the challenges, put an end to your challenges. You've got the information that you're needing here if you were suspicious of somebody, and it's ready to take this brand new leap of faith to go forward. Now, what I'll do is I will just clarify the Seven of Swords. And we'll see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's movement forward. Definitely. Here we are. Yeah. So this is a decision that you've got to make here over this information that you've learned. So like I say, listen to your intuition here, Aries. You're correct about this. Don't be frightened to make this, this decision to go towards brand new beginnings. Definitely not. Now, it can be, like I say, with a decision that we've needed to make, because I kept feeling here, it might be that you're suspicious of somebody and your intuition is telling you something. It's correct. So there we go. And it's about don't be frightened to act on this. Make the decision to move away from it. You'll see movement forward. This chariot, there'll be quick movement. You'll move away from any kind of deception. Uh, there's no reins on this chariot because it's just going forward. You know exactly what you need to do and where you need to go. And it's definitely about going towards your idea of happiness here. So taking that leap of faith towards what's going to make you happy here. It's the start of happiness. Beautiful energies. So this was all that, like I say, if you've got if you've got the feeling about someone's situation or an environment here, you will be correct about it. And things are going to come to light. So make the decision to walk away here. You can stand your ground, like we say, and defend yourself. But your, the knowledge will serve you well. Protection. Protection. You're not alone. You are being looked after by spirit guides and angels. Teach. Teach. You have a wonderful gift for working with others. Have you considered teaching? Now, any kind of job. But teaching might be your passion. Whatever has made you happy. Your idea of happiness, it's time to take that leap of faith and move forward. There'll be a lot of blessings that will come from this milk and honey. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.